House will come to order. First order of business is roll call. The clerk will unlock the machines and the members will record the presence. Has every member voted? Clerk will walk a machine and record the roll. 51 present, 19 absent is accused, the majority being present, the House is now ready to do business. The second order of business is prayer by the chaplain followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Will the visitors in the gallery please arise? As a, being a pastor for the last 30 years, there's a lot of things that mean a lot to to me, and one of them is uh, this, and I'd like to say a special congratulations to Representative Maline and her husband celebrating 56 years of marriage, and I uh, applaud you for that. That's, uh, uh, and I think you can understand where I'm coming from. James chapter 3, verse 13 says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show it by good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. Would you pray with me? Our Heavenly Father, as another week comes to a close, today I ask that you will be with each person that works here in the State House, that you would give them some moments to relax and moments to enjoy their family and those they share their lives with. Thank you, O Lord, for those who work so diligently to try to make this, this state a great place to live. I count it a blessing, O Lord, to live in such a great state with leaders who truly care about the direction we're going. Continue to help us see those things that may need our attention and to seek what is best for every situation that comes. Dear Lord, help us to be very wise in all our opportunities that come our way, and help us to be a humble people, realizing that we all learn and grow each day by the many circumstances. Give us the humility we need in serving, but the confidence we need in seeing things accomplished. Continue to open the doors for us that will help us press on to the things that lie before us. Give us the patience we need in making decisions. Thank you for our representatives and for our senators, our governor, and our state leaders and staff who work hard every day to bring good things to Idaho. Protect those who will be traveling today and watch over us. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. House will now advance to the third order of business, approval of the journal. The House is at the third order of business. January 25th, 2013. Mr. Speaker, will your Committee on Judiciary Rules and Administration report that we have read and approved the House Journal of the 18th Legislative Day and recommend same be adopted as corrected. Moved by Wills, seconded by Burgoyne. You've heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed say nay. The motion is passed. The journal is approved. The House, without objection, will now advance to the fifth order of business, report of standing committees. The House is at the fifth order of business. January 25th, 2013. Mr. Speaker, will your Committee on Judiciary Rules and Administration report that we have printed House Bills 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, and 52, Wills Chairman. House Bill 42 will be referred to the State Affairs Committee. House Bill 43 and 44 will be referred to the Commerce and Human Resources Committee. House Bill 45 and 46 will be referred to the Business Committee. House Bills 47, 48, 49, and 50 will be referred to the Con uh, Resource and Conservation Committee. House Bills 51 and 52 will be referred to the Revenue and Taxation Committee. Without objection, the House will now advance to the fifth, seventh order of business, motions, memorials, and resolutions. The House is at the seventh order of business. In the House of Representatives, House Concurrent Resolution Number 5 by State Affairs Committee, a concurrent resolution stating findings of the legislature and commemorating the Idaho Territorial Sesquicentennial and providing that the legislative auditorium be named the Abraham Lincoln Auditorium. 
House and Current Resolution 5 will be referred to the Judiciary and Rules and Administration Committee for printing. The House will now advance to the eighth order of business, introductions, first reading and references of bills and joint resolutions. The House is at the eighth order of business. In the House of Representatives, House Bill Number 53 by State Affairs Committee, an act relating to the Bond Bank Authority, amending Section 678703 Idaho Code to clarify salaries for certain members of the Bond Bank Authority. House Bill Number 54 by State Affairs Committee, an act relating to insurance producers, amending Chapter 10, Title 41, Idaho Code, by the addition of a new Section 41 -1090 to define a term to provide that producers may participate in health insurance exchange to provide for payment to producers participating in the exchange and to authorize the director to promulgate rules. House Bill Number 55 by State Affairs Committee, an act relating to the Idaho Telephone Solicitation Act, amending Section 48. 1003A Idaho Code to remove an exception to remove certain definitions to provide that it is not a violation of the provisions of this section for a telephone solicitation to be made by or on behalf of business having an existing or established business relationship with an Idaho residential subscriber if the telephone subscriber has not stated that he does not wish to receive solicitations from or on behalf of such business and to make technical corrections. House Bill Number 56 by King an act relating to minimum wage law, amending section 44-1502 Idaho Code to revise provisions relating to wages of a tipped employee. House Bill number 57 by King, an act relating to minimum wage law, amending section 44-1502 Idaho Code to revise provisions relating to minimum wages, to remove provisions relating to tipped employees, and to make technical corrections, amending section 44-1503 to remove a code reference and to make technical corrections and providing an effective date. House Bill Number 58 by State Affairs Committee, an act relating to withdrawal of state liens, amending Section 45-1902 Idaho Code to define the term withdrawal, amending Chapter 19, Title 45, by the addition of a new Section 45-1907A to establish a procedure for withdrawal of a notice of lien, and amending Section 63-3055 to establish procedures for the State Tax Commission to withdraw a notice of lien to provide procedures and to make technical corrections. House Bill Number 58 by State Affairs Committee, an act relating to withdrawal of state liens, amending Section 45-1902 Idaho Code to define the term withdrawal, amending Chapter 19. 45 to, by the addition of a new section 45-1907A to establish a procedure for withdrawal of notice of lien and amending section 63-3055 to establish procedures for the State Tax Commission to withdraw a notice of lien to provide procedures and to make technical corrections. House Bill Number 59 by Rushi, an act relating to ballots, providing a short title and amending Chapter 9, Title 34, Idaho Code, by the addition of a new section 34. 904B to provide requirements relating to the payment of closed primary election expenses. House Bill Number 60 by Gannon, an act relating to registration of electors, providing a short title amending Section 34404 Idaho Code to provide for registration of eligible electors at driver's licensing offices and to provide that the Division of Motor Vehicles shall forward registration cards to the office of the county clerk. House Bill Number 61 by King, an act relating to the Independent Ethics Commission Act, amending Title 67 Idaho Code by the addition of new Chapter 84 Title 67 to define terms to establish the Independent Ethics Commission to provide the powers and duties of the Independent Ethics Commission to provide that certain information, complaints, and reports are confidential and exempt from disclosure and to prohibit retaliation, amending Section 9340C to amend amend by Section 2, Chapter 103, and Section 1, Chapter 309, Laws of 2012, to provide that certain information, complaints, and reports are exempt from disclosure and to make technical corrections and providing an effective date. House Bill Number 62 by Packer, an act relating to sales tax exemptions, amending Section 63, 36.222.0, Idaho Code to revise the de definition of health-related entities. House Bill Number 63 by Woodings, an act relating to absentee voting, providing a short title and amending Section 34-1006 Idaho Code to revise and establish additional provisions relating to absent electors, polling places, and to make a technical corrections. House Bill 53 through 63 will be referred to the Judiciary and Rules Administration Committee for printing. Without objection, the House will now advance the second Read to the 10th order of business, second reading of bills and re joint resolutions, the House is at the 10th order of business. In the House of Representatives, House Concurrent Resolution 4 by State Affairs Committee regarding Kristen Armstrong. 
House concurrent resolution four will be filed for third reading. Without objection, the House will now advance the 11th order of business, third reading of bills and joint resolutions. The House is at the 11th order of business. Good gentlemen from 13. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that the remaining bills on the third reading calendar hold their place one legislative day. Unanimous consent has been requested. Is there objection? Hearing none, the remaining bills on the third reading calendar hold their place one legislative day. Without objection, the House will now advance to the 15th order of business announcements. The House is at the 15th order of business. Good gentlemen from 22. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, just a, a short announcement that the time with meeting with leadership will, as we said last time, will be at 1030. Today will be immediately upon adjournment. If you would, anybody would like to sit down with members of leadership, we'll be available in the Speaker's office for the next hour. And, uh, and also another announcement, I know we're, we're going to be done for today and some of you may not know what to do because you know, there's no committee meetings after. Well, the governor is having capital for a day in CUNA, which is in my district. So if you would like to go down there and see how the, ca if, you, if you're going to miss the capital for the afternoon and have nothing to do, just head on over to CUNA and come down to my district and visit with the governor and the officials that are there. Thank you. Are there further announcements? Mr. Chairman. Good lady from 33. I'd like to ask for a, a point of special privilege. Good lady has the floor. I uh, apologize for my cold again. My husband is in the galley, and I'd like to introduce uh, my husband, my wonderful husband, Lowell Trujillo. If everybody could give him a warm welcome. Thanks. Welcome. Good gentleman from eight. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With a quorum being present today, thanks to the freshman class, I would like to make the following announcement. <laughs> I would like to invite everyone to come to McCall for the Winter Carnival. That begins <clears throat> this evening with fireworks and opening ceremonies. Tomorrow there is the Mardi Gras parade, which is always pretty crazy. And there are the snow sculptures and a lot of things to do and see. So I'd like to invite members of this body to come to McCall and uh, bring your money. <laughs> it, lasts for, it lasts for 10 days, so you can, you can come up next weekend also and view the fine sights. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, good gentlemen. So the further announcements. Good gentlemen, 13. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that the members of the Joint Appropriation and Finance Committee be recorded as present. Unanimous consent has been requested. Is there objection? Hearing none, the members of the Appropriations Committee will be counted as present. The clerk may read. Following are the standing committee meeting announcements for uh, this afternoon. Business committee will not meet. Henderson chairman. Commerce and Human Resources committee will not meet. Hartgen chairman. Judiciary Rules and Administration committee will not meet. Wills chairman and Resources and Conservation committee will not, not meet this afternoon. Denny chairman. For Monday morning, Education committee will meet at 9 a.m. January 28th, room East Wing 41, De Mordaunt Chairman, Health and Welfare Committee will meet Monday morning at 9 a.m., East Wing Room 20, Wood Chairman, Revenue and Taxation will not meet on Monday, and State Affairs Committee will not meet Monday, Lurcher Chairman. Are there further announcements? Hearing none, the House will now advance the 16th order of business. Adjournment, the House is at the 16th order of business. Good gentlemen from 13. Mr. Speaker, I move the House to now adjourn until Monday, January 28th at 11 a.m. Channel 6. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. Thank you, good gentlemen. You've heard the motion. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say nay. The motion is passed, and the House will now be adjourned until the hour of 11 a.m. Monday, January 28th, 2013. Welcome to Idaho in Session, Legislature Live, the House Channel.